So let's check out some of the uh, practice problems from 2.3. And here's number two. And they're going to give us an interval. And they want us to squeeze in, choose a delta that will squeeze in to the interval given. So the first thing they actually want us to choose, though, is the correct sketch of the information. And so if we look at this, we have C is the center point. So C should be uh, in the blue line. And it looks like it's not for this one or this one over here. But B is to the right, to the right of C. So here's C at minus two thirds. B would be to the right. So that's not this one, because this one says zeros to the right. Uh, if we look at C though, here's minus two thirds, the center position. Here's minus five ninths, which is B to the right. So that's good. And then A should be to the left of C, minus five six. And there it is also on C. So C looks good. And none of the other ones do. And so now they want us to choose a delta, the largest delta, that will squeeze our absolute value into this interval. So you can see right here the center point is minus two thirds. And so the farthest we can go from two thirds is to this minus five ninths. That's the, the farthest we can go to create a centered interval. And so we'll have to figure out what that number is. So we're gonna have minus five ninths. We want to find the difference from a minus two thirds. And we'll need to get a common denominator there of nine. And so we'd have a minus five and then minus minus is a plus, but we have to multiply this by three to get the common denominator. to give our final answer then of one ninth. And so that is the distance from the center to this endpoint. That's the largest centered interval we can create within this interval they gave us. And that's our answer. So let's check out another one. So here, we want to find the open interval from this inequality given. And going back to the lecture videos, what they're asking us for is that yellow box when that yellow structure intersects with the x-axis, what is the interval of that yellow box? That's what they're asking for here. And if you recall how we did that, we took the open interval expression, which I'll just write out first here. So that is our open interval expression. And we're just going to plug the information in. So we can see the function they're giving us is the square root. They're telling us the limit is 2. And they're telling us epsilon is 0.1. So we'll just plug all that in. And now we'll try to solve this for x. And we do that by getting rid of the absolute value, by breaking this in to a double inequality. And there we go.
and we're trying to isolate x here. So we'll add 2 to everything. So we'll add 2. Adding 2 over here will make this 2.1. And 2 minus 0.1 will give us a 1.9. And now we want to get rid of the square root. So we'll square everything. And I'll get my calculator out for this one. 1 1.9 squared is 3.61. And then we have 2.1 squared, which is 4.41. And we're almost there, almost got x isolated. So we'll subtract 10 from everything. So we're going to have minus 10 plus 3.61 to get us a minus Point three nine, and I am just looking at a calculator here and subtracting 10 from this one minus 5.59 and then the last thing we want to do is get the minus sign off the X so we'll multiply everything by a minus and remember, multiplying inequalities with a minus reverses the inequality direction. And that's our answer. This is the interval of that yellow structure. Going back to the lecture videos. This is the region that we now want to squeeze our absolute value into, which I'm sure will be the next question here. But this is our open interval from the inequality of the y-axis. And I'm pretty sure my math lab does want this in uh, increasing order here. So I'm gonna go 5.59. Oh, and absolutely. They also, also want this in interval notation and not inequality notation like I have here. So this is inequality. Uh, it does say interval notation. So we're going from 5.59 to 6.39. And so now this is where we squeeze this interval into this one. So we're going to choose the largest delta that will squeeze into this interval. And remember how we do that. Is we took these endpoints and we solved for the distance from the center. And the center here is 6. C. C is given right here. And so we want to find out which is the smallest distance? So we have the left minus C. And we'd have the right minus C. Remember C is 6. And now we can see which is the smaller interval. It's the one on the left. It's 0.39 less than 0.41. So this interval to the left is the smallest one. And so that's the smallest centered interval that we can create with this interval given. And so our largest delta then is 0.39. Three, nine. And I do have to say, um, I noticed my math lab is not telling us the decimal 
approximation they want here. Usually they do. So if you do have any issues with that, I, I just assumed to do two decimal places and that worked out. So remember, you can always go to question help and hit ask my instructor and that will send this problem to me and then I can check it out. So there's a couple of problems for the homework.